Hey everybody, Lux Into Swirl here. I saw one of these bottles at Walmart this morning. I'm going to insert a picture here of what it actually looked like before I got a hold of it. <laughs> or before I started messing with it. Um, it's a really nice bottle. It was a dollar. They had them in different metal finishes. There is a uh, metal rim around the bottom. You we'll see in the inserted picture, and there's a metal cap, a matching metal cap. So what I've done is I've uh, put the metal cap aside, and I have used electrical tape to tape off the bottom. That's the black line you see there. And then I put uh, painter's tape over it just so I could um, more easily cover the entire surface of the bottom, because I don't want to get paint on any of the metal. And then at the top, you can see the black line there. I also taped off the top. It's not uh, metal at the top is just plastic uh, with the screw threads like uh, the top of a, a soda bottle. Um, I don't want to get any paint there. That's where your mouth would go unless you use a straw. But if you decide to drink straight out of the bottle, I want it to be um, non-acrylic paint, non-epoxy area for safety. And plus this will make the top a lot easier to screw back on when I'm all done. What I'm going to do now is take it outside and uh, put a layer of primer on it with spray paint. And once that dries, we are going to do some acrylic pouring. Yeehaw! Okay everybody, looks into swirl here. Um, so I showed you the bottle um, by picture and then when I had it taped up and now it has been sprayed, I used uh, Satin Rust-Oleum 2X Paint and Primer. This is a magenta. And I picked that color for the base coat because I'm going to use my Deco Art Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylics in the following colors. We have Bright Violet, Fuchsia, Lavender, and pink. And just for a little bit of contrast, a tiny, tiny bit of jet black. So I thought these colors would all sort of kind of go pretty, pretty good, not only together, but they'd be okay on a magenta background, which we will cover up. We're also going to be pouring over the bottle and onto a 10 by 10 canvas. So we need approximately six and a quarter ounces of paint so I have my nine ounce cup here and we will, we will, you know, shoot for seven. We'll shoot for seven ounces. This is all ready to go paint so we don't have to mix it up, which is part of what I kind of like about it. Let us start with pink and we're just going to layer our cup. Hmm. So let's keep... We have pink in here now. We're going to layer our cup. That is the fuchsia. Here is the lavender. A little bit of black. And bright violet. Okay, that should be enough. Here we go, folks. Let's pour. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because it's all taped off, so I'll just go down that way, but I won't bother covering it all with paint because that's just wasting paint.
It is possible, unfortunately, that the black may take over and we'll end up with a gray cup. Could happen. I hope not, but we'll find out. I'll let this drip for a few minutes. This paint I think is a little thinner than the paints I mixed up and used last time for the vase. Or what did we do? We did a tumbler. We did a tumbler with paints that I had mixed and those were very thick. But this is still dripping a little bit. So we'll give it a minute. Okay, we're back. Looks like it's pretty much stopped dripping, so I'm going to pull the turner out and put it to the side. Gently. Yeah. All right. And now we tilt. Let's see. That's the best way to put this down so everybody can see it. I think that's quite pretty. Frankly, I'm not a pink person myself, but it is bright and cheery. The black didn't totally take over. Lots of pinks are in the evidence there. Purples got kind of lost. Let's go in for our close-up. Here is our painting. This is the lower left corner, up the left-hand side.
to the upper left corner, across the top, upper right corner, and down the right hand side, to the lower right hand corner. And the full picture. All right, hang on and we will go in for a look at our spinning bottle. Here's our bottle, up at the top, and all the way down to the bottom. I will wait until these have dried and I'll show you the results. Uh, it will have to cure, the bottle will have to cure a good week before I can resin it, so we won't be seeing the final results, but I will show you what it looks like dried. The bottles are $1 at Walmart, so this is a relatively inexpensive, fun project. Thanks everyone, be back in a minute. Hey everybody, looks into Swirl here. We're back for a brief moment while I test my new overhead camera which hopefully is a lot better focused now than the old one was. Here's hoping. And I wanted to show you uh, an update on the pour over a bottle. You may recall, because it'll be at the end of the video, uh, we poured over this bottle while it was spinning on my uh, tumbler turner with some uh, deco art ready to pour paints. And we got this cool design, which I hope you can see. I have now taken off, I put electrical tape around the edge and then I covered the entire bottom with painter's tape and I also took this off completely and did the same thing, electrical tape first and then painter's tape all across the top. So we painted on just this part, I've removed all the tape and I am now going to re-tape both ends with more electrical tape and painter's tape so that I can do the epoxy layer. Uh, the reason I took it off is because I didn't want the epoxy and the acrylic paint to get too melded together before I pulled the original layer of tape off for fear I would take big chunks of everything off at the same time. So I wanted to clean this all up, which I did with an X-Acto knife right around the edge and up here as well. And now I will rewrap with electrical tape. I will bring it down just a hair from where the paint is so the epoxy seals the, the paint in. And then, so there will be epoxy sealing the, the acrylic paint in at both ends. I'll put the electrical tape teeny weeny above this one. And then I will bring you back one last time for the finished product. Thanks everyone. Hey everybody. Just wanted to show you how my bottle turned out. I am so pleased with this. I think it is so pretty. I had, had a little trouble. <laughs> About an hour after I put the, uh, the epoxy on last night, I went back in to pull all the tape off and uh, it, it didn't want to stay on the turner. So we had a little issue, <laughs> but got it worked out and I think it turned out pretty well. I'm really pleased with how it looks, as I've said. It's nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see the shine. I hope you can. Uh, looks pretty spiff. So anyway, I just wanted to wrap it up and mention again that I found this bottle at Walmart for a dollar. It's about the size of a 16.9 ounces, I think is, is about what this is. Um, so it would be a nice, it's not, it's not a cooler, it's not a vacuum, um, hot and cold drink sort of thing. It's just for, you know, putting some ice water in and having it out in the backyard with you when you're I don't know, playing with a dog or something. So here is our finished result. And here it is next to the painting that we did at the same time. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.